It's Sunday setup time. Hello my friends, welcome if you're new and if you're already a subscriber, thanks for coming back girl. So, today's Sunday setup is going to be a cook and clean with me because my parents are coming over for dinner and I'm having a fish fry, I'm so excited about that. And the cupcakes. <laughs> and me and the girls made cupcakes last night, so we'll have some of that, but I gotta straighten up. It's not too bad. I mean, it looks bad right now. We're getting ready to make breakfast, that's why. But it's actually not that bad. So I do need to straighten up um, before my parents come, and then I gotta go to Sam's Club. Yes, I said that right, Sam's Club. Girl, I'm getting my fish from Sam's Club um, to fry. So that is what we're getting done today. I don't have to do hair. I already did their hair really, really cute earlier this week. Actually, the girls have been home, missed two days of school this week. They missed Thursday and Friday because um, Zara had like food poisoning and she was really sick. And so we just kept them both home because I didn't know if it was a stomach bug or what. And I didn't want to spread any germs at school. So we've been home for a lot, girl. <laughs> the girls don't have school tomorrow for Veterans Day. If you are a veteran, thank you so much for serving. And so, yeah, we've been cooped up in this house so I'm, I'm looking forward to going out today I do got the girls the plate they just said grace and now i'm gonna fix hubby and my plate i'm about to make myself some coffee girl i have some heavy cream up in here nice and frothy i frothed it up and power creamer sent me their new peppermint peppermint mocha flavor i love power creamer they're not paying me to say this they just send me their products for review i love this peppermint mocha I've been using it for about a week. I just finished up my pumpkin spice. I um, mean, basically this is just coconut oil and MCT oil and ghee in like a, it's like a keto uh, coffee creamer or coffee flavor. It's not a creamer, but um, anyways, this wasn't as pumpkin-y, but I still liked it. Some of you guys, some of you guys added your own pumpkin spice, um, your pumpkin spice seasoning to it to make it a little bit more pumpkin-y. This isn't as pumpkin-y, pumpkin-y, <laughs> but I still liked it. But this peppermint mocha girl is the truth, okay? And I have a coupon code if you guys wanna use it. Um, if you guys are keto and you're looking for a power, um, like something fla to flavor your coffee up with, this is really, really good. Here is the coupon code. You can get 20% off. You can buy this off of Amazon as well. And I believe I have it linked in my Amazon store in the description box. Okay, so I'm here in the parking lot of Sam's. Um, apparently yesterday they had a really good one day sale. A lot of the toys were on sale. I purposely did not go, even though I really wanted to, because I'm not quite ready to do our Christmas shopping yet. I haven't decided like how much I wanna spend on our kids. Like of course we have our overall Christmas sinking fund, which is one amount for that we spend for Christmas on everybody. But then I sit down and do like sub budgets for each person so that I know exactly how much to spend because girl I can come into Sam's Club they had so many great toy deals I was just like oh let me get this oh let me get that and I and then not have kind of like a plan of what I want to get the girls plus I don't want to buy anything that I'm gonna have to declutter you know what I'm saying and my husband and I have differing opinions about what to get them what not to get them so I don't know I'm just not ready to do our Christmas shopping yet so let me get in here and get this fish girl so I stopped here to look at the TVs because um, if you guys didn't know our TV and our um, bedroom went out on us it just it left us my husband tried to fix it but it didn't work unfortunately so we have the TV from the guest room in there right now which is fine um, people are looking at me so crazy and Sam I if they're just used to seeing me in Costco um, filming like this, but in Sam's Club, it's just like, what are you doing? Anyways, um, so we are on the hunt for another TV. A lot of you guys said, you know, get it at Black Friday. Some of you guys said, wait until after the Super Bowl, because traditionally that's when the best deals are. And we don't have a problem waiting, um, but I definitely do want to look to see what kind of deals that they have uh, for Black Friday. So if you guys know of any deals for TVs, leave a comment down below, let me know. I just wanted to take a quick look in here and I'll take a picture and send it to my husband because it's really, this is his area. <laughs> you know, but I did want to see what kind of prices they have here. I did a full video about all of the um, Sam's Club toys, the price comparison, and honestly, uh, Sam's Club prices 
way beat um, Costco big time when it comes to the toys. You can tap this eye right here to watch it. On the one day sale, they had this for $79.99 and you get the whole little store, which is so cute. I really like these um, fruit and cheese trays. Zara has a class party, I think next week. Not next week, maybe the week after next, uh, the week before Thanksgiving. And I signed up for fruit. Um, so I was thinking about bringing this. It's $22.98. This is a pretty big platter, so that's not bad to get. Wow, the shrimp is only $14.98. That is so cheap, y'all. Because I spent $40 for a uh, four pound bag at Costco. And I just don't understand what the difference is. They may be like a smidge smaller, but they're not small shrimp by no means. They're still a good size shrimp. I haven't meal planned yet, but I'm thinking maybe I should just get this while I'm here because it's, you know. Anytime I come to Sam's Club, like I have to get my mom's card, so it's not like it's, I can just pop up and come here when I want to. Um, it's just when I have time to like go over and get my mom's card and stuff like that. Okay, so here are our fish selections. And what I'm going to get is some tilapia, even though eh, it's like, tilapia is good fried up. I'm not going to find it. It's good, and it's really cheap. So I'm gonna get a pack of tilapia, and then I'm also going to get a pack of catfish, okay? And if you're wondering if I'm still keto, the majority of time is yes, but not today, girl, because I'm about to eat this fried fish, I'm gonna eat this cornbread, and I'm gonna get some white bread too. I'm about to eat this coleslaw, and um, these baked beans. <laughs> okay, so it is what it is. but. So I'm gonna come over here and grab some bread, and I believe that's all I'll need to get from here, and then we'll run to Publix to get the rest of the stuff. And then we'll go home, and we will um, meal plan. I was looking to see if they had any Jiffy cornbread here, um, because I'll just buy, like the, I know at Costco they sell a six pack. I don't know if they do here. I'll just buy it here, as opposed to just buying one box at Publix, because I will use them. Um, you know, for Thanksgiving and stuff. Also, a lot of you guys said that the Sam's Club brand toilet paper is good. Okay, so just to give you guys an update, um, for those who saw my last Costco haul, which if you have not seen, you can tap this eye right here. We talked about the toilet paper and how the Costco brand toilet paper has just gone down. It's just not what it used to be. I don't know if they just change manufacturers or what. Anyway, I bought Charmin toilet paper, okay, uh, for the first time, because it was on sale, just to see if we like it. We hate it. I liked that first, but then, you know, my husband said that he felt like he was wiping his butt with a beach towel, okay, because it was so thick. <laughs> These are his words, not mine. So, excuse me. So, uh, yeah, we don't like it. It's just, it's way too thick, and it leaves like little residue. I just, uh, yeah, I just can't do it. So, of course, we're gonna use it, but we just need to figure out, okay, what we're gonna buy again. Because if it's between Charmin and the Costco brand, we're just gonna have to go with the Costco brand. But a lot of you guys said that Sam's Club toilet paper was banging. So leave a comment down below and let me know um, if you've used it. And if not, what brand toilet paper do you like? And I'm looking all around, I don't see any Jiffy cornbread, unfortunately. Now I love Krusty's as a brand. Their pancakes are everything. I've never tried their muffin mix though. Honey cornbread, I wonder if it's good. Uh, leave a comment down below and let me know if you've used it. Here's the toilet paper. Now, I don't know how much it is because there's no sign here but let me squeeze it do the squeeze test mm, it doesn't look very thick like if you could squeeze it and bend the um the cardboard tube in the middle mm, doesn't seem very thick to me but i don't know leave a comment down below and let me know if you've tried it i have the frank's red hot but i want to get louisiana hot sauce so i'll have to go to the grocery store but this isn't bad though because you get two huge nine ounce bottles Glass bottles for $6.74. One thing I love about Sam's Club is their self checkout. I totally just dropped my camera. <laughs> it's hard with this tripod pod to fit in my purse anyway. It looks like it's working, so we're okay. Off to Publix we go. I'm at Publix. Have you guys ever tried any of these? I tried the energy one before and I really liked it. I did feel like it gave me some more energy. I have longevity, immunity. They're on sale two for five. Juice on sale too. So the Publix's like homestyle potato salad is pretty good. Um, 
this coleslaw, not home style, southern style is good. I love the macaroni salad, so I'm gonna get some sides to have with my fried fish. It's way cheaper to get these at Walmart. They're two for 109. I know for a fact they're under 50 cents um, at Walmart, but I'm just going to go ahead and get two here. The girl, I'm going all the way in today. Um, I baked cupcakes with the girls last night. Those were their cupcakes, but I wanted to make dessert for my parents and hubby too. So uh, what's your go-to? Cause it's, I don't really get box cakes mixes that often cause I don't make them that often. Um, is it Pillsbury? I know my girls like the Pillsbury Funfetti, that. But when it comes to like a yellow cake, cause I wanna make a yellow cake with chocolate icing. Do you go with Pillsbury, Duncan Hines, or Breddy Crocker, super moist. I want a yellow cake with chocolate icing. Now, I'm not gonna go through the steps of like, you know, doctoring up a box cake. I have a great aunt who's a baker, and she uh, told me what to do to doctor up a, bake, um, a box cake girl. I've done that in the past, and it is so good. I mean, so good. You think it's like homemade cake. Um, basically, she just says to add an extra egg, a stick of butter um, instead of the oil, and instead of adding water, add buttermilk. Girl. Telling you that little secret right there. Be having your cakes banging. Um, anyways, I need to decide here what to get. I think I'm gonna go with um, the Betty Crocker Super Moist Yellow Cake. Can't go wrong with that, right? Even though I'm going to Costco next week, I'm gonna go ahead and get some eggs for tonight because I need some for the um, baking the cake and stuff. And for breakfast tomorrow, the girls don't have school, so they're just gonna have breakfast food. These are on sale. Too. Gosh, heavy cream is so expensive. Look at how much that is. See, I pay this price, or maybe it's a little bit more, I can't remember, for the Land O'Lakes brand at um, Costco. But some of you guys said to get the heavy cream from Aldi, and I've never looked at Aldi at their heavy cream. I'm not sure what brands they have there, but I'm definitely gonna try that out, see if it's cheaper. Ava and Charles really like peanut butter and jelly, and they have the Welch's uh, grape jelly on sale. Buy one, get one, so we get some of this. That's everything I'm getting from Publix. Not too much. I try to just shop the sales, girl, because Publix is high. Okay. So here's everything I got from Sam's. I got the tilapia, the catfish, the shrimp, and the bread. Altogether, this was $44, which, you know, the most expensive thing was the shrimp was $15. Um, from Publix, I showed you what I got. I got the orange juice, I got some more hot sauce, I got the Betty Crocker Super Moist Yellow Cake, two boxes of Jiffy Cornbread, um, some butter, because I'm gonna add a stick of butter to my um, cake, and I didn't want to use my Kerrygold Girl, because Kerrygold is high. And then I bought the icing for the cake some grape jelly and some eggs. All together Publix was around $25 um, because you gotta buy those, shop those buy one get ones at Publix because if not girl, it's sky high. So that's everything. While I was gone, everybody straightened up, <laughs> which is nice. Uh, so I just need to put some of these things away here before um, you know my parents come over. Okay, time to start cooking and I'm on my porch here and I got my electric skillet. I'm heating it to 350. It's gonna take a little bit to heat this oil up. Um, so while this is heating up, I'm gonna clean the fish off. Even though we are having coleslaw and um, macaroni salad, I'm still gonna make some broccoli because my girls don't eat that and I know they'll eat this. So I'm just going to cut this up and saute these on a pan. Okay, I've got my broccoli going. I just have butter in the pan here and I'm sauteing them with um, salt, pepper, and garlic. And yeah, these will turn out well and I'll just add a little bit more butter um, as they brown. And now I'm going to wash my fish. Okay, I'm about to rinse this fish off. Then I'm gonna put it in a baking sheet, pat it dry so I can season it. Um, this is a catfish, that's the tilapia. Okay, I got three pieces of tilapia. The tilapia is really big. I mean, this is my hand here. The tilapia is very big. And here is the catfish. So I'm going to season this. I'm gonna go ahead and fry the girl's pieces. My parents aren't here yet, but I'm gonna fry their piece because they're getting hungry and I'll have the broccoli for them. Um, and I'll probably give them, I don't know, tilapia probably. So let me go ahead and season this up. Okay, so the chicken is nice and seasoned. Zara helped me, thank you baby. She has taken a liking to cooking. 
Um, so she likes to watch me. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this. Here, hold it. Take this. Uh, I, as I told you guys before, this is what we're gonna use to batter the seafood. I'm going to put it in here and I'll shake one piece at a time in here. This is what the batter looks like. Yummy. Okay, I am frying the girl's piece right now <laughs> um, because I uh, am gonna wait till my parents come and then I will fry the rest of the pieces. But the girls are kind of hungry, so I'm gonna go ahead and get theirs done now. But it's smelling good, girl. Okay, so I did season the um, mix with the same thing the garlic, the Old Bay, um, salt and pepper. And so, yeah, I'm just gonna wait until their piece gets done and then I will start breading the rest of them. So we moved to a bag, Zara loves the shaking part. She's shaking it up, good job, baby. Now let's take it out and lay it on here and then take it outside to be fried up. Got one piece done, now let's do the rest. All right, so now we're going to put the rest in. One. This doesn't seem like it's very hot. Two. Let's turn this up a little bit. Three. Mm. Last one. Boy, we not, might not be able to fit this one in. All right, let's just Four. do those three. Okay. Mom is here. Say hi, Mom. <laughs> Say hi. You didn't have a problem being on camera to, to check me about Sam's Club. Uh -oh. Okay. Gone so the fish is looking out. really good. I'm gonna let these fry for two more minutes and then we have these pieces to put in and then it'll be time to eat. All right, I got two pieces of tilapia left, one piece of catfish. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the freezer. Um, I should probably season them now and then put them in the freezer and then all I'll have to do is um, thaw them out and then I can saute them or fry them up again. Okay, I got the fish ready for the freezer and um, this meal is set. It's all already seasoned. Okay, so the fish fry is complete. The fish look delicious. We have some cornbread muffins that my mom and dad made, and we got broccoli and um, coleslaw and macaroni salad. Time to eat. Mother is greasing the, or she's flouring the pan for our cake. All I had is cake flour though. I didn't have any white flour. My mom was like, who doesn't have white flour? Well, mother, I don't have white flour because who has white flour in their house when you eat keto most of the time? <laughs> All I had is cake flour from, you know, the last holiday season. So listen, so that's what we're gonna use. Mother had to take over. I was baking the cake, but then she took all the way over. So I just let her go. Mmm, the cake looks so good. It's been cooled now. And so we're gonna ice it. Mmm, this cake is looking good. Something to eat? Mm. Yeah, I did. Cake is so good. Yeah. Yeah. Mac and cheese. Oh. Mother. <laughs> so, sorry guys. I didn't really film that much because I was just spending time with my parents and stuff. Um, and just having quality family time. But it's now 9.20, the girls are asleep. We just put them to bed. My parents just left and i um, kind of tired. But um, I'm going to think about what I'm gonna have to eat for the whole week. I need to do a little bit of meal planning. So. I shared this on my live from a couple days ago that um, on my new channel, Moms and Money, which if you have not subscribed to Moms and Money, go subscribe if you're into my Debt Free Friday series, if you like um, personal finance and stuff like that. I'm talking all about how to make money, manage money, and save money over there on that channel. And so I um, talked about this. I did a live actually. So when this gets posted, it'll be last Saturday. Um, it's probably private now because I don't keep my lives up for very long, just maybe a day or two. But anyway, I was talking about how over there on the, that channel, Moms and Money, I'm gonna be doing like savings challenges every month. I'm so excited about it. And so the very first savings challenge that we're gonna do is a grocery savings challenge. We're gonna try to do the $100 per person per month grocery challenge. And that's gonna be a challenge for me, girl. I'm just gonna be honest, it's gonna be a challenge for me. Also, no eating out for January. So I am kind of testing right now to see how I'm gonna do with that in um, this month. Um, so we're not, we're only eating out once a week. 
Because if I'm being honest, girls, sometimes we eat out three, sometimes even four times a week. So this past week, which is the first week of November, it was really good. So um, we only ate out on Saturday night. That's it. And um, but I'm noticing that I need to be prepared better for that. So it's going to make it's going to force me to meal plan. And because I really want to be ready come January for all these savings challenges that we're going to do to try to cut our expenses. Because for me, my biggest problem, hands down, is food. <laughs> it's the eating out it's the groceries that adds up so I'm trying to cut back because we want to be more aggressive with our savings um, for next year so um, definitely join subscribe to my channel moms and money to um, you know join me on this um, challenge so with that said I need to sit down and meal plan for next week Wow I started getting um, lost in the comments here I'm reading the comments from last week's Sunday setup about um, you know decorating for christmas a lot of you guys don't decorate until black friday like me or closer to christmas and you decorate for thanksgiving i don't decorate for thanksgiving though i just decorate for christmas um but then some of you are like i put my christmas tree up in the middle of october do whatever works for you girl for me though it's gonna have to be um black friday <laughs> yeah black friday for sure but okay so i did a, just a simple little meal plan girl you know i didn't feel like bringing out my air and condor and it doesn't have to be fancy and i sort of have to tell myself just to simplify it here is my meal plan for the week we're having leftovers tomorrow leftover fish we're having tacos for taco tuesday wednesday i'm having shrimp and broccoli thursdays we're having chicken tenders and green beans friday it's homemade pizza Saturday is our eat our night to eat out and Sunday we're gonna have steaks so yeah as far as lunches for the kids go and everything I'll be going to Costco very soon um, as a matter of fact it's probably up already my November Costco haul and um, Aldi as well because I like to get their snacks for lunches and stuff um, from Aldi I am a little bit nervous trying to, to, to maintain the hundred dollars per person per month for groceries I mean I think I can do it but I really have to be diligent on meal planning and um, using what you have essentially and that, that's best practice anyway so I'm really excited about it but anyway that's it leave a comment down below and let me know are you going to be into these savings challenges with me? Do you have any important savings goals for 2020? If you do, like I said, go subscribe to Moms and Money because I'm going to be diving deep with that for us to, um, and I'll be even sharing my personal goals, for us to just achieve them and and support one another there. And then let me know what you got done um, today, uh, how productive you were. Um, I did start planning my week out with my notebook here. A lot of you guys asked, where did I get this? Where do I get this from? Um, where it's like my list and then uh, my daily to-do list. And I got it from Target like four years ago, three or four years ago. Um, but if you search for it on Amazon, I'll, I'll actually add one to my Amazon store that I found that's very similar to that. Um, to see, try it out to see if you guys, uh, if it works for you. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, tap my picture up above. And you can also check out my previous video right over here. No, right over here and all of my social media platforms, I'll list it down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.